In this video, you're going to learn how to deploy a one-click template with WAN and ConfiUI on RunPod and start generating videos. To start, simply take the link from the description, open a new tab, paste it, and click Enter. If you don't already have a RunPod account, just create one and do it again. Now, to start, you have to select a GPU. For WAN, I do recommend to go with a GPU that is over 48 gigabytes of RAM, so the L40 is a very good option, the L40S as well, and also the 5090, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, and you might be restricted in some settings, but this is a really good bang for your buck. Now, a very important thing before you deploy is that you have to click additional filters and filter the CUDA version to be 12.8. The reason that I'm doing this is that with CUDA 12.8, I'm able to install the latest PyTorch with uh, optimizations like FP16 accumulation, the latest Sage Attention, so on and so forth. So let's go with the 5090 for this demo. And the template should already be pre-selected if you have used the link in the description. If not, you can just search for this text in the Change Template menu. Now, before you deploy, click Edit Template and Expand the Environment Variables tab. And here you have the option to choose whether you want to download the 480p models, the 720p models, the WAN fan models, or the VASE models. And you also have an option to set your Civit AI token with LoRa IDs and Checkpoint IDs to download. I will cover that at the end of the video. Now, let's say I want to go with the 480p models. This will work well with the 5090. So I just change that to true. Click Set Overrides. Scroll down and click Deploy. Go to the My Pods menu, and the pod should start deploying right here. Now, I already have a template deployed and up, and if I click Logs, you should be able to see all the logs. You can see that ConfiUI is up. You can also see uh, some logs before it's starting. If there's any issues, you can view the startup logs here. And once it's ready, all you got to do is click Connect and go to ConfiUI. ConfiUI should open right up. If it's a blank screen, that's great. If there is a pop-up menu that invites you to click on some workflow, you can just close that in the, right, uh, in the top right. That's a default ConfiUI window. When in ConfiUI, click on the left side and all the workflows should be right here. I do recommend to go with the native workflows. Um, if you are an advanced user and you know the WAN video wrapper, you can also go with the WAN video workflows right here. Let's go with the native image to video for now. And I'm going to quickly go over my workflows. You can see that all of them look more or less the same. This is the text to video. Uh, these, these are the WAN video wrapper that I just mentioned, but let's go with the native image to video for now, just for the sake of this demo. Now, all of my workflows are linear. They go from the left to the right. You get the loaders, uh, the loaders group right here. Um, just make sure that the model that you've downloaded is selected in the diffusion model loader node. So I want image to video. All I got to do is change it to image to video for ADP. And all the rest of the settings should already be pre-configured. You've got your LoRa loader right here, your Tcash node. You can also disable Tcash if you want. Sorry, I, I kind of got carried over to this one. Let's go over this, this uh, group first. So the model loader, the skip layer guidance node, you can change that, of course, enable, disable, same for Tcash. The clip VAE, clip vision, and upscaler should already be preloaded. And then you got the LoRa node right here. You can select your LoRa's. Right now, I don't have any LoRa's right here. Moving on, you got your positive prompt, your negative prompt. This is image to video. So you got your input image right here. You can select your height, width, and all that, along with the shift and the upscale factor. Upscale factor is something that you're going to see across all of my workflows. I really recommend to leave that setting at two. Anything above that will cause the generation time to be very long for a very negligible um, upgrade in quality. And the last thing that you should be that you should care about is the K sampler node, of course, it got your steps, CFG, sampler name, and scheduler. 
So this is it for the workflow. And now I'm going to move over to show you the Civit AI tokens. To download LoRa's and checkpoints before deploying the template, I'm going back to the uh, template deploy menu. Just click edit template and expand the environment variables. Now remember, this has to be done before you deploy the template. Now to create a Civit AI token, go to Civit AI in the top right, click on settings and scroll all the way down. And you've got your API keys right here. Just create a new key, give it a name. I'll just call it test for now and take your API key and put that in the Civit AI token variable. Now let's say you want to download a specific LoRa. I took this one, for example, this uh, aesthetic quality modifiers LoRa for WAN. You need to go to the AIR on the right side and take the version ID. Make sure that you not take the model ID, you have to take the version ID. Just copy that, paste, go back to run part and replace the variable of the LoRa's IDs to download with this LoRa. Now, if you want multiple, Lo multiple LoRa's, just uh, add a comma and paste more IDs. You can rinse and repeat and add as much LoRa's as you want. Click set overrides, deploy the template. And once it's deployed, your LoRa's will be preloaded in the template. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or any concerns, you can just drop me a comment below. Find me on Reddit, find me on Patreon. Come to my house and do whatever you want. Um, thank you. Again, click subscribe, ring the bell, all that YouTube mumbo jumbo. Take care. Goodbye.